This one change could have saved MKBHD's Panels app. And in this video, I'm going to redesign panels from the ground up, focusing on one change that I think could have saved the app. The first issue that I have is its design. The issue with this design is that we expected a lot more from someone who spends half a million pound on robots to film their video. Like the font looks like default font from some sort of template that was bought on Theme Forest. So let's start here. Let's look at a few font options and basic colorways to build a vibe. And then we can start designing some screens to set the right design direction. So I've basically created four uh, directions for the app. Essentially a few different styles, a few different bits of type, and then an overall theme. The first direction uses a clean, modern font, and I've done a slightly different take on the homepage slider. The second direction was a slightly lighter theme with a little bit more of a modern and playful feel to it. The third direction was a slight evolution on the first, looking at a different font. And finally, the fourth direction, which is my personal favorite, going a little bit more retro, old school Apple. However, having thought about it, it felt right to stick closer to the original design and something that aligns more with MKBHD's brand. So now let's talk about the user experience, which honestly needed a lot of love. We really want to give users uh, some options to what it is that they might actually care about when they first land in the app. So we've got rid of this whole kind of creator thing. And the first step here is about interests and it's essentially just some tags that the user can pick, which will generate something on the explore page. A really cool idea we could have implemented here on the onboard and flow could have been like a left or right swipe Tinder card style, but I'm doing this for free guys, so come on. So I went in and redesigned the core screens of the app to make it more engaging, more functional, and closer to what users expect from a premium app. Here's a breakdown of the key improvements. First up, the homepage. In my redesign, I wanted the homepage to feel like a place where users can discover and engage with new wallpapers and collections right off the bat. So I added a trend in section and tag so that users can quickly tap in to explore different themes and it makes the app feel a lot more dynamic and alive. Also, the search bar needed work. In the original, it was just a floating word and now I've turned it into an actual search icon that fits more naturally with the UI. And even though it's just one small change, it makes the interface feel a lot more polished. Next, the card system. The original design felt inconsistent with different sized cards for wallpapers and collections. I simplified this by creating a stack for collections, making it easy to tell at a glance what's a singular wallpaper and what's a collection. After all, they are all the same shape, so having widescreen ones didn't really make sense to me. This adds a much needed uniformity and makes the interface feel more functional. I also gave the collections a much needed facelift. Now, when you click into a collection, you get a quick overview of what it's about, along with more details about the creator behind it. There's also space for likes and download counts, adding a social dimension that was missing from the original app. This encourages more interaction and a deeper engagement with the content. One of the most noticeable changes I made is in the navigation. The original setup was functional, but not very intuitive. So I added an extra icon in the bottom nav bar, which leads to the special new feature I designed, an AI create module. With this feature, users can generate their own custom wallpapers by prompting the AI with themes, colors, and vibes they want directly within the app. It's a feature that I felt was really missing and something that would genuinely make the subscription worthwhile. Instead of just downloading wallpapers, now users can create them and install them from right within the app. In my version of the app, I completely overhauled the profile section. And this is what brings in the utility. You're able to upload wallpapers, view your downloads, and also check out the AI creations. This edit button here takes you to the theme itself where you can then customize the settings, switch in between light and dark mode, and the other functions that you would need, such as changing your name and the app icons. Now let's talk about the logo. This one was bothering me. The original one had this strange clamshell shape that didn't really make sense. I simplified it and made it much more reflective of what the app is about, wallpapers. Now it's a more sleek rectangular design that aligns better with the app's overall look. I placed it front and center on the home page for better brand recognition too. The explore page also needed a lot of work and in my redesign I made it much more immersive and engaging. The tabs are now uniformed and sticky, so they stay with you as you scroll through the different sections. It makes navigation much smoother and keeps the user much more engaged as they explore different collections. So here it is, the redesign of MKBHD's Panels app. 
I focus on fixing the positioning, polishing the UX and adding features that would really make the app feel worth the price tag. The marketplace concept, credit system and a new AI wallpaper generator all adds layers of value that I think were missing from the original. Would this version have avoided the backlash? I think so.